Our world is unfolding in front of us. Jerry Schwartz notices the rumbling sounds. Seems to be coming from a giant machine connected to all the silver tubes. Jerry looks into one of them and sees that it seems to be some sort of sleeping person. <laughs> it's hard to get very it's hard to get a very cl clear look at them. However, as they're partially obscured by a layer of frost, it as if it's oh, hold on, as if this is being used for some kind of hibernation. Looks like all this is running all the <clears throat> looks like all this running has gotten us somewhere we haven't searched yet. I typed all that, and that's the response the game gives us. The Just the quotes? Yeah. That's funny. Zach Frundall, to see, Zach Frundall pulls a random lever to see what it does. Hey, look, what does this do? In an instant, the machine comes to life, and nearly all of them begin releasing a strange gas into the air. The gas is clear, but smells faintly of rotten eggs. Huh. That means sulfur. Yeah. They're demons! Jerry Schwartz watches, Schwartz watches as the silver tubes slowly begin to open, releasing some ancient air that smelled vaguely of sulfur, but was otherwise harmless. As the stale air clears out, Jerry finally has a clear view of the still sleeping occupants. <clears throat> Jerry cringes yeah, as he sees the blonde, spiky hair, now that nothing is obscuring his vision anymore. Jerry immediately looks over to Zack and panics. No, these were the bioengineered Super Saiyans they made to fight in World War III. They stopped the war, but nearly wiped out all life in the process. Uh, what are they doing here? I thought they all died. The machines continue to slowly release the poisonous ga poison gas in the air, and you soon realize that this place was designed to kill them without using any weapons at all. What? That's the game's part. Yeah, I realize that. You know what we just learned? Hmm. Sulfur is bad for Super Saiyans. Good job, game. You just taught us something. However, we just we, we, we just let the air out, which means... Uh-oh. Time to go. Zach Fundo looks at Jerry. I think it is time to get out of here. I do not like anything about this place. We got everything we could for now. Zack starts running the direction, leading back, and motions for Jerry to go with him. You run as fast as you can, back the way you came. On the way, you see the mutants are struggling to avoid the poisonous gases. I guess there was some left. Jerry Schwartz ponders how Sulphur is somehow harmless to himself and Zack, yet still, had, still, <clears throat> yet still bad for Saiyans and mutants. While those post-bomb mutants are dangerous, those Saiyans, who ended the war, or something else entirely. Unfortunately, as Dre runs back to the oil rig with Zack, long drawn out screams can be heard in the distance. Meaning, <laughs> yeah, meaning the sands are waking up. Zack, who likes to pull levers at random, releases sulfur gas that was keeping them trapped, meaning things would be bad very soon. They had to get back and warn Hoppet and all the others. Using the oil rig controls, they try to start the engines again, but to no avail. The ship begins to rock violently back and forth, and you quickly realize you've you've ju uh, that you've been had. <laughs> Did we try to fight the sands with an oil rig? I think we tried to bury them. Bury them, yes. Assuming, uh, here we go. Zach Frundall noticed that one of the mutants attempted to get out of the cave. And Zack stops it by hitting in the face of his baseball bat. Causing a domino effect as he falls into the other mutants behind them. Blocking the passage. While also breathing in the poison air that seems to only affect them and the Saiyans. Holy shit, I think we did a bad thing. I blame you, Hoppet! <laughs> Zack points at Hoppet and laughs. The ship rocks fiercely as you're flung around the cockpit. Mutants can't stand at this shaking and begin to claw at each other in an attempt to get out. We have to get out now. Huh. Dre Schwartz points at the survivors and screams, Everyone, run for town! As the oil rig, oil rig continues to shake, presumably under the sand's fury, 
Jerry can now hear the blood-curdling screams of the trapped mutants. It sounded like the mutants need not worry about slow death from sulfur. For the Saiyans, they all, they all killing them already. Unfortunately, the Saiyans would finish off the mutants soon enough. And then, and then come after everyone else. Even poor Hoppet. Zack runs for the door and desperately tries to slide it open. But it's wedged on the side of a rock slide. The drama. Oh. Oh. 